Miss South Africa entries have closed and no doubt there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of entries for Miss South Africa again this year across all social medias. I mean, they could enter through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, my goodness, TikTok, even freaking LinkedIn, guys. I'm not kidding. And listen, I there's no way. There is no way on earth that I saw every single entry. Probably, I would estimate, I probably didn't even see 20%. Of the entries okay but today I'm going to be talking to you about 30 women who I actually think could potentially end up in the top 30 bear with me like I said I'm going into this blind okay it's like I'm hunting at night with a blindfold on trying to hit a fly okay this this is how I feel going into this because there is no way that I got all of the entries and it was even a struggle for me to make this list with the entries that I did see so it's going to be tough at Miss South Africa this year but we know what we're looking for we're looking for a Miss Universe and we're looking for a Miss Supranational because the Miss South Africa organization have gotten rid of their Miss World license so that is who we are looking for on this list Let's begin. First off, no-brainer, Melissa Nayamuli. She was a top five contestant at Miss South Africa 2020. And we have Brioni Govender, who was a top 12 contestant at Miss South Africa 2018. Natasha Hubert, of course, who was second runner-up at Miss South Africa 2020, but went unplaced at Miss Universe South Africa. So she's obviously a candidate for the Miss Supranational title of next year. Then we have Barbara Muagi, who is a big fan favorite. Rizal Bester, who is actually a mother, and she's one of the first mothers that we've seen for Miss South Africa with their new rules. Then we have Jordan van der Feyfer, who is a top 10 contestant at Miss South Africa 2020. Lungu Katete, who was a top 20 finalist at Miss Earth 2020, representing South Africa. Donatella Jose, Molly Matatanya, Nicole Wilmans, who was a top 35 contestant at Miss South Africa 2020 and also the winner of Survivor South Africa. Sherry Wang, who was in the top 35 of Miss South Africa. Tiziana Devi Persad, who is one of my personal faves. I absolutely love her and I want to see an, I want to see an Indian Miss South Africa again. Let's be real. Then we have Nande Mabala, Tamika Streicher, who I also think is very beautiful, Jessica Nell, Kialu Bohan Kande, who of course we all know and love. She was a major player at Miss South Africa last year. Biula Baduza, who was also in the top 16 of Miss South Africa 2019. Nicole Middleton, who was Miss International South Africa 2019. Anne Westhuizen, who was Miss South Africa 2021 top 30 contestant. Vasti Spiller, who a lot of people have been dying to see at Miss South Africa. She's like the Tamsin of this year. Namla Damoyi and also Abigail Paul and then Carmen Barnard, who I think is very beautiful. Then we have Samu Kilisiwe, Sibia, Michelle Creer, who was Miss South Africa 2017 top 35 candidate, Lebuhang Raputsu, Catherine Grunewald, I mean, fourth time is the charm, hey? Catherine, of course, ha is a veteran of Miss South Africa at this point. She has entered three times before, gotten a little higher every single time. So I suppose she's hoping to win this time or even get into the top five. Then we have Tahira Zungu, who I also love, Naledi Mara. And lastly, Tumelo Ntsewa, who has also vied for the Miss South Africa crown before. I know that was like a rapid fire these are the girls these are the girls on my radar right now like i said guys i think it's time for a indian miss south africa to be real to be real with you right it's been a while the last one i can actually think of is karishni Niker. don't even come with tamarin green she is not indian i know her features are very ambiguous but she does identify as Cape Colored, okay guys? She is not Indian, she identifies as Cape Colored, which is a whole 
different ethnicity in South Africa. If you're not South Africa, we have like a million different ways to categorize people into ethnicity. We don't just have black, white, and Indian, okay? There are like steps in between, little subgroups. Anyway, guys, I am just so pleased with the women who have entered Miss South Africa this year. Not only the ones who have re-entered, but also newbies. There are some newbies, guys, who I'm like, you might, you might overtake some of our oh, fan faves, which is exciting, actually, which is exciting. And I think that definitely some of the girls who entered Miss South Africa this year, who maybe don't get chosen uh, for the top 10, especially should go over to the new Miss World South Africa organization. That would be interesting. Let me know you guys' favorites, especially on this list. I know I went a bit fast and I can't go into any detail for the top 30. Otherwise, this video would be a million hours long and i think i'm going to wait until the official top 30 is announced before i do like an in-depth thing on every single girl so let me know what you guys think of the girls that entered this year who did i leave off the list who do i definitely have to go check out because i'm not over miss south africa entries this year yet okay uh, until they tell me who the top 30 is i will be still stalking all of these women and I know it's a problem it consumes my life let me know what you guys think thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye